um yes we've not done a race video but um we've there's like just been slight things where we've said we're going to probably write off this young bird season and um, we're going to keep hold of the birds we've got and race them as yearlings for next year but so what i am going to do though and um, just to show you how our system works that we've got is i'm going to show you us registering as birds um, another thing is obviously I'll just point out as well that we, we said about giving it you know, stuff with the young birds purely because we didn't feel they were ready enough um, we've not really been putting the time in that we should be doing um, but obviously we've, we've just been too busy and just this that, and other so it's like we've said look they're not ready enough all we're going to do is we're going to put them in a basket put them on a wagon and lose them all and ruin what we've got so with the birds we've got here now we've got 22 pigeons we're going to keep hold of them we're going to keep training them up and then we're going to just race them as yearlings next year so we've got a good uh, amount of birds to start with for the old bird season come next year so but i'm going to show you that i've got the ets clock set up i will show you a bit closer in a minute um i've got it oops, connected to the smart hub obviously this is not where it's going to be staying i've just put it here because i haven't yet attached it to the wall i have put up two signs up there and my blue number one sign here. Um, again, like I say, they, they are going to be staying there. Hopefully, I might I might move this one. I'm not quite sure I like where I've put that one, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll work it out from there. But in regards to the ETS system, obviously it's not going to be staying here. The pad obviously is currently on here instead of inside the loft, but it's only because I'm registering the birds and not racing or, or training. But once they're all sorted, registered and everything else, better do some training chucks and actually show you them clocking in so you can see that part um, I'm still going to carry on uh, doing the videos for you because you enjoy them showing you obviously just day to day around the loft and and things like that and just showing you obviously our progress um, we did have a slight issue a couple of days ago um, obviously because with us um, working every hour God sends um, we've had a little help from his mother-in-law on seeing to the birds and um, she came down a couple of days ago and was obviously seen the birds feeding water and scraping that sort of thing. She says, oh, I've let birds out for you. She'd been on let the stock the birds out. But got, we've got most of them back in, but there are a few still missing. So um, for everybody that has given us stock birds, I will warn you, just in case you get any reported, um, that you know, I have messaged everybody uh, that, I, that I can find uh, to just let them know obviously about the birds but if you do have any birds reported that are from here just let me know um, so anyway let's go on to these birds I'll just uh, flip my camera so I can show you the ETS system and uh, show you obviously registering a bird <laughs> right so here's the clock as you can see it says no training started Mr and Mrs Pierce's loft um, and obviously we to pigeons I've done one pigeon just as a tester to make sure that obviously I could do it so as you click on to management I should be using my pen in all fairness but you know as you do so it says register new pigeon so you press on that so as then you type in it's you know you click on to live band and ask for your country the character the year and the ring number and um, so I'll just get one pigeon out and have a look So, you done to your wing there. Got this one out. Right, so, obviously it's already down to GB, it's already down to year 22. Right, this is not easy one-handed. If I just show you on here, so it's letter, obviously on that bit, it's a C, so I just click on C, if you can see that. And then you press the tick in the corner. Oh. And then you enter its ring number there. So I'll just enter its ring number now. Seven six three six four. So again, if I just show you that, I've entered its ring number, press the tick in the corner. Oh, there we go. And then you press OK. Then it'll ask you obviously for it if it's colour. If you can see that, there we go. I'll ask you for its colour and whether it's a cock or a hen. Well, this one's a hen and it's a uh, ooh, it's a dark check so again I'll just show you that 
So as you can see on that screen now, look, obviously it's got its ring number, it's a, it's a hen bird and that um, it's a dark check. So then it'll ask you for chip ring. So if you press, sorry, chip ring, it'll say hold over antenna. So pull the bird over the antenna and it brings up the ring there. And then you press save and that's the new pigeon then done. This one back into the last. That's it. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and try and get a couple of these birds registered and hopefully to show you the stages they go. Um, hopefully you can see the ETS pad in the corner there. So obviously oops, just like before register a new pigeon on that bit. It. So, life band, scrub a bird. Come my darling. So, we've got the country in. This letter is a C again. Ring number 7672. Tip that one off. Um, you're a cock bird. You're blue. It says chip ring. So again, just hold it over the antenna, brings up the chip ring, press save. As simple as that. There we go. Another thing I'll show you as well, um, I'll just go back home on that. Um, if I do system, um, just bring this back forward so you can see. So we go on to system, and um, obviously you, got, you can see what you've got. Oops, I'm not even in front of the camera. You can see what you've got actually connected to your clock. Um, so if you click on your, oh, click on your antenna. Oh, sorry, an antenna test, my bad. Right, so you've got the antenna test here. So, just give me two seconds. And what I'll do, right, this should be easier. I'll, I'll show you that there, that's what it says, whole, whole antenna over. So this is now testing all the areas of your pad to show you that all your sections are working. I guess now that they've all gone green that notifies you that all your sections on that pad are working. So it's just a case of using your little antenna tester like I said before and you run it across your pad and obviously it makes a noise and then actually on your clock, each section will turn green. And I'll tell you, obviously, if you see the blue ring on there, that's actually from where you last left your, your antenna tester. But obviously that will tell you at what point your bird clocked in, whether it was at the front of the pad, the back of the pad, the side, or whatever. So you can see all that happening. So obviously, I'm going to go ahead and try and get some of these birds registered through. And uh, I'll be able to take a look at it once I'm finished if I can get it done. Um, I'd like to say, but to try and show you actually me going through the process of it, but obviously trying to hold a pigeon and register this, the rings and uh, talk to you as well. Not that simple. Right, so if I just show, right, so if I go back here, click on home, so that'll bring up there. So obviously if you've done any training, racing, it'll show it all on there. Plus I have got the smart hub connected with my GPS up there onto the roof. So we got a good signal, it's showing me I've got three bar, uh, got a full signal lock and it's showing me obviously the time it is and everything. So click on that, you've got pigeons, so they're the ones obviously I've already registered. And then you've got a system, so obviously you've got your system, all the things that are connected to your clock currently. So these are all your different settings, obviously this is fancy as here, so this is where you register yourself. Close that. Printer settings, obviously when you're printing out your results and things. And obviously that's your antenna test that we've just done. So go back home. Oh no, it's going to pigeons. So it's management. So it's a register a new pigeon. Right, let's try and get another pigeon out. And do this one-handed. Right, so this pigeon here. Just have a look. GB, oh, life band, GB22, 
Its letter is V. Where's your ring number? Its ring number is 58074. So that's all its ring number entered. Click onto that. Click whether it's a cock bird or a hen bird. Click its colour. Or if this one's a blue. Type that in. Chip ring. Oh, bear with me. Again, trying to do this one handed. Put the bird antenna, you can hear the, ante the, the clock, sorry, making a noise. There's its chip ring number then registered on there. And you press save. So, again, another bird added. So like I said, I'm gonna get some of these birds registered and I'll be back to you soon. It's just another thing I'll show you obviously is connecting it all up. Um, obviously we've got it connected to our battery, as we do. Obviously battery cable connects into the back of the smart hub. That's where your antenna connects to. That's your cable that then connects to your clock and to your pad. Um, so obviously the clock one straight into the bottom as normal. And then it goes to this one because it's got like a, a double wire on it. So it connects that one that goes to your pad. This one that goes to your smart hub. So they're all connected together, but you can disconnect your clock but your pad, your smart hub will continue to clock pigeons in on your pad. Uh, so obviously, if you were going to the clock, going to the club, take your clock, this that other, but you still got birds you're waiting on. Not so much for clocking them in for times, but more for just knowing that they were back. Um, that will contain, continue to clock your birds in. So that's just another thing, obviously, we, that you know, it's, it's a bonus on more than anything because you've just received a notification to say, "Oh, that bird's gone through. That bird's been registered." This, that, or that, which is brilliant. Right, so we've now got all the birds registered on there. And obviously, so that's all that done. Go back home, and that's all ready now for training, racing, whatever, because all the birds are on there. Um, so that's just me showing you obviously how ETS getting set up. Um, I am going to do a training video, so obviously, I can actually see them coming back and clocking in through it. Um, just another thing, obviously, for you to see. and. We'll play as young bird season by ear. Um, I don't think, they're, they're, I think they're too far off now anyway for us to chuck them in. Um, I think they're about 100, 140 now. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll you know, keep doing, doing as much training with them as we can. And uh, hopefully there might be a drop back race towards the end of the season. We can probably pop them in there for one or two. Um, but we'll, we'll hopefully see, but... Hmm. But I hope you're having a good young bird season. Anyway, I um, hope you're getting along all right. I've not had too many losses, and I um, hope your racing's going all right. And so I'll see you all soon. Have a good young bird race season, and I shall see you obviously within the next about week or so, doing obviously a training video for you. Um, and just have a good race season. <laughs>